Welcome guys back. Um, I should push the screen. Yep, there we go. So welcome guys back. Um, today we're going to show you Unity Mobile, and this is just going to be the very beginning. And I've done a few testings, but we're going to create a new project today, right? And we're going to do a uh, U Mobile, and just going to be like a YouTube Mobile, whatever. Um, U Mobile Tube. Okay, U Moba. And we're actually gonna have the Moba camera as our Unity package. Um and that's it. I actually oh, do I want to destroy that? Because I've got a bunch of packages here and I won't release these, I'll just give you the links to get these. Um and I think I'm just gonna drag them in there, it'll make it a bit easier. Yeah. So we'll hop on and then we'll drag probably the entire package folder in. That way we can actually have like a small enclosing folder that we can rename if we wish to call it whatever we want. For example, packages or um, content or whatever you want. So we're just gonna call it packages and that's gonna have our camera for our MOBA. And this is gonna can this is a really in-depth camera. Um there's a scene I can show you. I will might as well show you. Uh, we won't save the default one, but um, it's also really, really in depth, as I'll show you in a second. And um, I got the Aster A Star, not Aster, the A Star Pind Pathfinding project. Um, and this is really, really top project. It's just one of the best out there. I not have a good night's sleep last night, so I'm very tired, so coffee is going to be my best friend today. I'm not one to normally drink a lot of coffee, but, well, today. So, basically, these are two packages. There's not much else. Um, I do actually have a list, I'll actually open that up, because that's the easiest way for me to tell everything that you guys need. These will be in the description. So you also need Photoshop or GIMP. I forgot about that, but I'll show you that in a second. And Unity plus Modern Develop. I'm going to be coding mine entirely in Modern Develop, even though I actually have, um, uh, whatever, whatever you want to call it, you know, even though I actually have uh, Visual Studio, I'm going to be coding the entire thing in Modern Develop, just for those people who have more to develop, so they can look and see, okay, yeah, he has more, you know, it can see, and also it helps quite a bit for debugging, and I want to show you quite a bit of the debugging, where normally I wouldn't, normally, most of the time, it's only mistakes and stuff that I have to debug, this time it won't be, it'll be everything, or hopefully, don't know how much, uh, but then you can look things, I don't know how the things mean, that's really cool. You can get numbers and stuff. Okay. Guys, um, so I'll show you this scene. I keep talking. Uh, sorry. We need to add a few things. We need to add, um, this is, this, we'll just be going to this bit later. Essentially, we want to add physics. A, we need to add another. Why? Okay. God, we added freaking layers. Uh, layers. There we go. So we also got to add another one called. Mobile camera boundary layer. And these are just going to be the boundaries of the map. So I'll, I'll go through how it's set up and stuff. But this is this the camera. Yeah. Here's the camera. So the office is essentially how offset it will be. So this is really, really cool, all this stuff. And we'll be going through this a bit later of how it's all done and stuff. But. Not today. So now if you run this, um, it should work, but there still is a little issue. We're just going to fix this just this way, just because it's very easy. Um, this will just make it so that they um, don't interact, really. Okay, so this is our map. And as you see, his, you can see my mouse, most likely. If you can't, I'm sorry. But I'm like moving my mouse to the sides of the screen, and it's moving the map, like what you'd expect. Um, it is a little bit weird like this, as in, um, as you see, like, it's not liking certain boundaries. Oh, that's really weird. 
There we go. Don't know what is happening there, but something was happening. Oh, there must be like a boundary here. But we'll be going into that later. And actually, what will happen is that our boundaries will be a bit less like this. As you see, these are our boundaries. And they just basically got spheres on every object in the game world. Right? So every object in the game world has a sphere or a box. And that's essentially every you camera can't leave this. So what we'll actually do is we'll actually just make a big box around it. So our map will be square. So it'll be fine. Our map won't if I'm absolutely curved, we'll actually make the boundaries square. So you can actually go out a little bit, we'll always make it a little bit bigger, a little bit more um nice. But in some games you don't want that. Well in this game we do. Um so that's why we did get can't caught. But if we just made one big boundary like we go yeah that's one that we want so we want essentially everyone but this one like that and then if we got this boundary and we made the x like 80 we kind of got it something like this maybe make the y a bit bigger so like 40 maybe make the 80 like kind of sound like Oh, not 40, 20 is fine. And then we want this to be 40. There we go. And then we want this to maybe 100. Something like this. Regardless, if we do this, as you see, we can do this. But there is a boundary layer. Though we did make it very big. But there is one. Um. So, yeah. But we can so actually deactivate it, and there's no boundary. Probably can't see it because of how it's set up. So we'll go down here, and you'll see that we just will keep on going. Reactivate the boundary. We'll be stuck. So essentially, it kind of builds a grid, so you can't exit the square. So that's a very, very good thing, and it's. I'll show you how to set this stuff up. Um. And just simple offset. So here's our demo manager. This just contains nothing else. We won't be having this in our game. So our environment, we don't need to have this, right? We won't be building it like this. But it's just kind of so you can make it easy to look. But we'll have something similar. This is where I have slight of a problem, right? It's very slight. Um, let's do my target. Oh, yeah. This way I have slight of problem. Right, I'm just gonna double still check. So if we make this zero. Oh. Oh. Okay. I'm just actually gotta be I just realized, and I feel really bad for realizing it's just now. So there's a thing called a followable target that allows you to follow certain targets, and this is kind of obvious, right? You know, um, and I'll show you this in a second. But I didn't realize this this script here, right? And I'll just do this. And I didn't realize how it's done. I thought it actually just got it from the hierarchy. Which would stuff up the server and client data, right? So, but oh man, excuse me, but it doesn't it actually does something totally different. So, um, I'll just kind of show you it. But basically, if we press Y, what was the key again? Uh, do we have ten targets here? We do. Okay. Uh, L. Sorry, L. L will lock us onto a target. Um, we gotta make sure that we're not on. Uh, same chord. Where is it? Uh, but yeah, we can go up and down on targets. This is kind of this is a very cool thing that we can just like kind of switch targets up and downwards. We won't. We'll be doing something slightly different, but it'll be the same kind of thing. And then we'll be constant zoom, which I don't get what that means. I think I don't know. Regardless, um, concentration, don't know, 
But regardless, um, oh, this is how you do it. So you, you can rotate it, and that's, I think, the rotation that will allow. So we won't allow you to change the height, but we will allow you to ro rotate it. But not obviously that much. Um, and you can obviously always rotate it on the lock, so you can rotate it this way. But I'm not sure if we're going to allow this or not, but obviously they have. Um, and you can set heart to target. So this one will kind of, even if you're like really down the low, it will kind of bring you up to where the target is. Which is quite good if you're kind of zoomed in and zoomed out. Don't know how we're going to, yeah. So basically, we can just switch between targets. And we can just, as you know, switch between targets. And if we want, we can like move around the map. And if we press space bar, it will bring us back to our target. And you may go, but wait, this is really, you know, obviously you don't follow your target. No, because you're not locked onto it. So um, if you click this and your target is stationary, you obviously stay stationary. So if we make, uh, well, I don't know which one. Current target is six. So where's six? There we go. So this one. And we go, okay. Um, yep. Then we go over here. Oh, it just kind of like brings you down, and then you click it and you go off. Okay, yeah, we'll fix that. We'll edit the scripts a little bit and we'll make it so we click it. Um, well. Yeah, so. Let's see. If you actually hold it hard enough, you right now, what will happen is if you click it, it will just kind of send you back as far as you know there's not really a push it doesn't really teleport you to where the position is but we can change that and but if you hold it it will bring you back to where it is as you see you're here and you can move them around however you wish we'll be mucking around for a lot of those kind of things but um the scripts that they give you really is that just you're, you're basically just your boundaries and that's it really I i mean there's there's a lot of things you can do as you get your mobile camera access and stuff but all the other scripts that you can write is going to be up to us to write so we're going to write our own manager our own everything that allows us to have the t switching um, it's kind of going to be similar to this, not really um, but you know, we can add targets then you know so what we'll be able to do is we'll be able to add a target and then we'll be able to go, okay, give me player three. And then we'll go, okay, here's player three. And you can spectate player three. Well, that's it. That's basically it. We've just done it. Um, there's not much else to it. This was kind of a bit long, but it's kind of showing off, you know, certain things. All links are in the description, as usual. And thanks guys for watching.